A, a local nurse is angry and afraid tonight after she says she was stalked, harassed, and threatened by a homeless man who followed her inside a sandwich shop. That woman says she begged workers for help, but says they did nothing and continued to make sandwiches as if nothing was wrong. Mary, I don't blame them. Because if them workers had confronted that fucking son savage, they could have been hurt or they would be ill if they fucking restrained him and he fucking died or some shit or anything happened bad to that fucking son fucking ape fucking protesters would be outside of that fucking subway and so every subway across the nation would have to close for a day for diversity training so i appreciate y'all not doing anything let this woke bitch get harassed let this woke whore get chased all around the subway. I don't give a fuck. Fuck her. She's from L.A. She's from L.A. She's a woman. She's woke. A, a local nurse is angry and afraid tonight after she says she was stalked, harassed, and threatened by a homeless man who followed her inside a sandwich shop. That woman says she begged workers for help but says they did nothing and continued to make sandwiches as if nothing was wrong. Mary Beth McDade is live in Hawthorne with a story you'll see only on Five. Mary Beth. Yes, Mike and Chair, the nurse says that, well, she understands that people need to protect themselves, but she is devastated that these employees didn't even stop making sandwiches to call 911. A Long Beach woman says she feared for her life when a homeless man went after her inside a Culver City subway shop and continued to threaten her. Halima Offman tells us she first spotted him outside the restaurant located on Sepulveda Boulevard near Venice, about a block away from a homeless encampment. This man says some things to me and then he starts talking about a hitman. He's I owe him money, called me Carol or something. And I was like, he could have done better. man. <laughs> I mean, no cap, man. He could have done better, man. If you go fucking risk getting fucking in trouble, man, you could have done a little bit better than this, man. She looks like. Oh, she's shit. wearing a rough helmet. She looks like that guy from Taxi, that crazy cab driver from Taxi. Remember that show, Taxi? Forgot he had a. What other show was he in? Oh, shit. He ended up going kind of crazy. What the fuck was his name? She also, she also looked like um, the guy who played Monk. What's, what's that guy who played Monk? That, that detective, that crazy detective. Yeah, she she looks better in grainy footage. She looks a lot better in that grainy the footage. Ghost, dude. Yeah, she looks she looked good in the grainy footage, man. This should be her fucking um Facebook avatar and shit. Not this, man. God damn, you fucking rough looking chick, man. Um, anyway, man, he chose you. It was a bad day, man. Pictures were slim. <laughs> Fuck you. We don't care. You're fucking woke bitch from California. And if it happened to some other woman, you would be caping for the criminal. That's the thing that people who understand. Because I heard seen somebody in the chat say, blame the victim. If this happened to another woman, she would be caping for the criminal. The only reason she's mad is because it happened to her. Well, That's shit. how sh shitty these people are. Well, shit. These liberals are <laughs> disgusting. If it doesn't happen to them, they cape for the criminal. The oh, and sometimes <laughs> even they cape for the criminal. What does happen to them? No, nah, real shit, real shit. Sometimes they care right to the criminal. Yeah, like he didn't have a chance. It was his fault. You know, he... mental health. Yeah, <laughs> fuck her. <laughs> fuck this winch. From a homeless encampment. <laughs> This man says some things to me, and then he starts talking about a hitman. He's, I owe him money, called me Carol or something. And I was like, this man is deranged. She says it was in mid-March, about 3 p.m., when she went into the subway to order food and noticed the man had followed her. So I'm backing up into a corner, and I'm like, what do you want from me? Like, I don't have anything for you. He's calling me Carol. I owe him money. He's going to get a hitman after me. He's going to shoot me. His hand's behind his back. I think it's a gun. Altman tells us she begged the employees to help her while she... My God, her eyebrows are thick, man. Jesus Christ. That, that, that girl's thing. got a Wookiee bush if you get the <laughs> reference. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's Wookie Bush. Look like she got buckwheat and the scissors <laughs> locked down there. It's a rough looking. Ew. My God. This is the most attention she got in a while, man. At least she, <laughs> she should be fucking happy, man. I think it's a gun. Hoffman tells us she begged the employees to help her while she took cover behind a chip rack. I, I was begging, like I was begging them. And then I was like, oh, I'm actually, I'm probably going to die. But she says they just watched and continued to make sandwiches. They look at me, don't do anything. I'm like, please call 911, do something, nothing. <laughs> like, then I just realized, oh, I'm on my own. She then hopped over the counter to escape him. I, he was reaching for me. I pushed him with two rocks. When she hopped the counter, he was the dude pointed like, get the fuck back here. <laughs> well, I can understand I her realized, oh, surprise. She then hopped any over man, the counter to escape him. <laughs> she's not used to a, a man showing any form of attention, so I understand her shock. That girl was like, man, get the fuck out of here. And they right. said... They said and it's in the whole time he was harassing her. They still was making sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. They're like, man, like, man, shit, man. We now you ain't about to turn our fucking um subway shop into fucking BLM fucking protest zone. <laughs> fuck out of here. Because if we call the fucking cops, I, I wouldn't have called the cops either. You call the cops, <laughs> what do you think the cops gonna do to them? Man, they let that go right side, right side shit. Yeah, cops ain't cops ain't stupid. Cops like cops gonna fucking beg and plead with him to leave, and that's about it, man. Cause they know that if they get involved with this shit, they're gonna be in fucking trouble. And this is the world. Let me tell you something, man. If this whore moved to your town, she would vote Democrat reflexively on every fucking issue. She will vote woke on every issue she would say the schools in your town that are shit she would say they're shit because of fucking systematic racism she would say that the fucking sun teens need more fucking programs not knowing that they got a fucking gazillion programs <laughs> she would stay as far as she could away from sons she would fucking live as far as where she could do with sons wall simultaneously caping for them at every turn and fucking lecturing everybody in her fucking path about how fucking unconsciously biased and systematically racist they are. These women are shit stains in these fucking liberal cities. And continues to make the sandwich as if that's more important. And as a travel nurse working at County USC Hospital, she says she sees mentally ill people often and puts her life on the line every day to save them. And I usually know how to de-escalate situations, but with him, there was just, there was no doing that. As okay. So that's you your job. That's not their job. Do you think she would allow a cop to say that? Do you Hell think no. she would allow a cop to say, look, we you will normally de-escalate, but with this guy, there was no oh, doing so. that. She would never let a cop use that excuse. She would never. They need better training. Well, poor you this need is better the same training. Bitch talking about borders, going, "Oh, well, our borders are just fine," and then they dropped a busload of illegals on the fucking front porch, and they had them out of there in seventy-two hours. Yep. These people are terrible. These are bad people, and I'm I'm not trying to act like. They're like bad people, like they're going to fucking club you upside your head, take your wallet. They're bad people in the... They're worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They'll they destroy a fucking civilization. Yeah, they'll do... Not exactly. a bank account. Exactly. Exactly. She'll lecture you. She'll give you a fucking lecture. Then the next person she sees or hears say anything about a black person, I don't give a fuck if you're talking about the fucking ball game and you're like, hey, man, that XYZ black player threw an interception. Don't say that. You're unconsciously biased. Knowing to fucking God she's terrified of 